okay so after executing this project after deploying this project on server now it shows this form that is login form this is our welcome page so that it is first showing this login form here so whenever we click on click here for registration it will show the register.jsv file so where it is, it is showing the registration form so i'll write here suppose i'll some portion ag this is my username i'm using here i'll type password 1234 then i'll write santosh then my name Nagaruji. then the uh, email i will use here santosh at the red gmail.com then course i will select suppose bcom and i will type mobile number this way and i will when i click on submit button it shows you are successfully registered so here at this time it is executing this register.java file it is going to the register.java file means it is going to the register servlet and there you are doing it is doing all the operations uh, database operation and it is giving this response that is click uh, you are registered successfully and click here for login so after uh, clicking on this link it is again showing login for login form so here i will enter my username and i will type my password one two three and login okay so it is showing uh, the username or password is wrong so we'll go to the database and uh, we'll fire the query select star, star from student and here we can see that uh, my password is one two three four and my all the details has been successfully filled here okay so we'll return back to the project here i'll write on push energy password is one two three four and login now it is showing welcome so this this home page now we we we, we are getting this home page because in home home dot jsp we only return this uh, statement that is welcome but now what i want to do that is uh, here i want to show my uh, whole information that is stored in my uh, in my database so that i have to show in table form here so we'll now edit the home dot jsp file now so in home dot jsp first of all i will import the java.sql package here in the top header that is this is the scriptlet line first so in that scriptlet line you have to write import is equal to double quote you have to write java.sql.. so all the packages will be imported here so after that i have to write scriptlet scriptlet line so in java whenever you want to uh, include your or you have to uh, you have to use your uh, java uh, in jsp you, whenever you want to use your java code we can know that jsp uh, is using java code inside the html tags so here if you want to use java code so that we can use with the help of this syntax that is this sim these symbols we have to use that is less than percentage and percentage greater than so inside this i will put this this line that is class dot for name because here i want to do i want to load driver first and then i want to do the connection so i'll load the driver with the help of this class dot for name then after this i will show here i'll show welcome okay so welcome and before this i will do one thing that is i will check whether it is uh, whether my user is logged in or not so that i can do with the help of session management so uh, already i have, uh, I have used uh, session management in login.java file uh, login servlet so here i will check my session is uh, set or not i will use if and in if i will use condition that is session dot get attribute inside this i'll check my session that is u n m is my session name okay session variable is equal to null okay so if it is null then <coughs> it will do one thing that is it will it will transfer transfer my control again to the my page that is login.psp okay so in redirect 
this method you can use for redirecting your control also okay so we have seen uh, request dispatcher request dispatcher is a, a, a request method but send a redirect is a response method so that you can call here and you can give the name of your page that is login.gsp so inside this uh, inside uh, this again i'll do one thing that is i'll access my parameters so i will write use u name is equal to uh, i'll access with the help of request object request dot get parameter because that i i need here so i'll use username that is the name full name that i have you uh, have used in my login form then second i will use upwd is equal to request dot get parameter so here i will use password that name i, I have provided in my uh, login form okay so here i have declared two variables that is your name and pwd okay and these two string variables i have declared and in that variable i have stored the values that are that are accessed from the uh, login form now after this i'll access the name here and i will display here so i will again use scriptlet syntax but that is for expression equal to i will add here and i will use i will use the u name variable here okay i will access the value with the help of u name variable so after this i will put one line and then i will do the database connection here so i will copy and paste the code of database connection from my login.java file so i will copy this and i will paste it here okay so here i have done the connection i am getting connected with the database and then i am firing the select query where that username and password is available or not and then after this i am executing that query with the help of execute query method so then i will check okay after this i will create one table in my body tag sorry so create a table with border i will set one okay so inside this table i will create a tr that is table row i will create inside this table row i will create table heading so first table heading i will use that is my first table heading is username that is my first heading then second heading will be my password third heading will be my first name okay and fourth heading will be my last name then after that my next heading is gender the next table heading is email the next heading is course the next heading is that is mobile number okay so this table address we have created and after that for next row i'll use i'll write the scriptlet here okay so i'll check i'll use the while loop here inside while loop i will use rs dot next so i'm going to ask, uh, move i am going to move the cursor on next page here so here i'll use okay so here i'll use again scriptlet symbols okay and here i, I will close the tag okay so remember whenever you are going to uh, use the loops in your gsp you have to write your loops in this fashion that is the starting 
it, uh, the, the starting line the starting statement you can write inside the uh, scriptlet tag and then the ending tag so the ending uh, curly braces you have to write inside the another scriptlet tag why because we are going to insert other code inside this block okay so i will write my other code that is i will write uh, the tr tag here again so inside this tr tag i am going to create other table details okay table sales i am going to create with the help of td tag so how many td tags i know i want i want eight td tags okay but before that one thing that we want to access our data here so again you have to use the scriptlet tag that is expression tag here that will access the values from the database now we know that we have already connected with the database so here i'll call the rs dot get string okay and i'll provide the database okay the column parameter i'm providing uh, column index i'm providing so i i told you that the column index is in starting uh, starting from one so the i want to access the first data of first column so i'll use one here the same code i will copy and paste in other other td tags and just i replace the parameters uh, sorry column parameter okay column index with the index number we'll copy it i'll copy this code whole code and paste it so here i will give the four index five index six index i need two only because i'm having eight columns so here i'll write seven and here eight so remember with the help of get string we are accessing the columns and in that column we are accessing the data that we want to display here in the td tag so that we were we, we are doing here okay so here we have done that thing so this we have done in body tag we have to do in body tag uh, put this body tag okay so here we have done what we have access the database and we have uh, access the table uh, columns here and we have displayed that values here inside the home page now we'll see how it is working but before that see i'll put one logout button here okay I'll put logout button. So for logout button, I will create one form again. So here in action, I will write logout. This reference I will use method is equal to post method. I will use here and inside this, I'll use input. I'll create an input tag. I'll use input tag type is equal to submit create a button value is equal to log out okay so this one button i have created at the bottom that is logout because here we have to do one thing that is after login we have to do logout operation also so i have used the i have defined the logout button here so to define the logout we need to do one thing here okay so we have to uh, create again logout.java file so we have to create a logout servlet here so i'll create a servlet again i'll go to login application i'll right click new then servlet then in servlet i will provide the name class name that is logout and then finish okay now you can see this code has been generated here so i will remove the useless code okay so we need just this code we may need only do post method so here in this method i'll call i'll again access the 
session with the help of HTTP session class here. So HTTP session session is equal to request dot get session. This I will call here. Okay, get session method I will call and here I will um, I will import the class that is HTTP session class. Okay, and then after that I will call session dot remove attribute. So which attribute I want to remove? That is U and M. This is the attribute that I want to remove here. Okay, so just we'll check. Okay, so this, so this attribute that we have to check, uh, we'll check in login dot Java. What is the oh, okay U and M? This is the attribute that we have set in login dot Java. So that we will remove here. And then we'll call again session. We'll call again invalidate, which will remove all the attributes okay, which are remaining. Then it will send the response. Okay, so it will send the response. Send redirect with the help of send redirect. It will send the response to the login.jsp file. Okay, so here you can see that how define the logic for logout servlet. I have called the get session method of HTTP session the, that will get the session which is already uh, created in login.java file then it will call the remove attribute which will remove the attribute that we have set in the login.java file then with the help of invalidate it will uh, destroy the whole session and with the help of send redirect it, it is sending the request or uh, response that is login.jsp this page will be loaded after logout so this we have completed now we'll again run the project so i'm right click on this and i'll run this run java oh sorry run and run on server finish okay so this is my login form so already i have created a user so that is santosh and ag okay then my password is 1234 login so welcome santosh energy because why it is showing here because i have access to the parameter that is my username that is displaying here after that it is using one horizontal line then it is showing the table that is username password first name last name gender email course and mobile number all these fields i have access already i have access these columns and i have displayed here and now i have put logout button here so that i can log log out from this session i can log out from this account so i will click on logout button okay so here it's showing the servlet exception why because we have not added this reference that is slash logout reference in our xml file so we'll go in xml file again in way by name there is a web, web dot xml file so here as same same like the other servlet definitions their servlet mapping uh we have to create uh, okay we have to write third servlet okay so i'll copy and paste this code so to give the reference of third ref or third servlet that is logout servlet so here i will write my logout so this is servlet name i will provide here and the servlet name is classes logout this is the class logout after that the same thing i want to do that is servlet mapping i want to do i have to map my servlet class with the url pattern so i'll give the name same name that is my logout and the reference provide here that is logout okay so this url pattern i will use for logout to access the logout.java file so here okay so you can see in this home.jsp you can see the action attribute is having a logout reference here so that will call the logout servlet now i will go for this file okay so after that okay now we'll see 
will try to log in so my username of the dot Santosh Nag one two three four I will click on login button now it is showing my home page where I, it is showing my details and now I, I will click on log out button now it has been logged out it is showing again login.csp page if I try okay now see if I try to access home.csp again it will not show home.csp page because I have made the home.csp page secure with the help of session management okay so this is about your assignment number three where we have created we have developed a, a login application with the help of gsp servlet and mysql so hope you understood this assignment as it is very lengthy assignment just see all the videos one by one so that you can understand this assignment easily and do the practice of this assignment so if you have any doubt if you have any comment if you have any suggestion just post your suggestions and comment in comment box and don't forget to subscribe my channel so thank you for watching my video bye bye